Orion, which is a documentary by Ginny Finley, who made the great hip hop hoax, which we reviewed on this program a few years ago. So this is the story of Jimmy Ellis, who in the wake of Elvis's death, appeared briefly as the masked singer Orion, who sounded exactly like Elvis, and who, because of the fact that he was wearing a mask, some people took to believe was actually Elvis. You remember when I used to believe that in 1977, mm -hmm. Elvis hadn't actually left the building? Mm -hmm. Fine. So all dates back to that. Then in the wake of this, the, Orion, the question was, is he Elvis? Or is he something? I mean, the fact is, he was too tall, his eyes were the wrong colour, and he looked nothing like Elvis. But he sounded like Elvis, and that was enough for some people. Elvis that you couldn't talk to, all of a sudden, here's sort of the stand-in Elvis taking pictures with you with his arm around you, you know? Elvis hadn't been able to do that for a long time, and all of a sudden, the fans who wanted that sort of magical touch, would go up and touch him, he'd hang out afterwards and sign autographs, and the fans loved him. It was an experience, I'm telling you. And I have actually seen girls standing there crying, just shaking. He really affected people, he really did. The lady sitting beside us said, do you know that's Elvis? She said, you know why he wears the mask? To cover up all the scars that he's got, said he had plastic surgery to change his looks. I remember some girl coming up to the stage with a bouquet of flowers and comes up reverently and bows and, and genuflects and puts it at his feet. And I thought, this is strange. This is just kind of weird. She obviously thought he was Elvis. What the documentary manages to do is two things. On the one hand, for people who've you know, never come across... Are you, had you heard of the Orion story? No, before? not okay. until you told me about it. For people who, who hadn't, people who didn't read Gail Brewer Giorgio, people who you know, weren't on this particular sort That's of... That's most people. Most people uh, line of obsession. What it does is it unpicks this story. Is how on earth did this thing come about? How was it that Sun Records ended up re releasing a record called Reborn, which in its original cover had a you know a coffin and then you know Orion coming out of the coffin and then they took the band. How was it that recordings were found in inverted commas of Jerry Lee Lewis apparently singing with Elvis, but it's a new recording, so we haven't heard it before. How did this all this stuff happen? How did he then manage to go on tour? And how was it that whilst he was on tour, there were responses from people who did genuinely think he was Elvis? I don't Why know. did well that's one of the things that the film investigates. I mean a lot of it is to do with people wanting to believe this stuff. A lot of it is to do with p people just not being able to do, to deal with, you know, Elvis having gone. Also, amidst all the kind of conspiracy theories, it was exactly what everyone was looking for. But more importantly, it's also a film about a singer who had a voice which was uncannily like Elvis. There's one line which is very, very spinal tapping, which he says, people say you can't make it because you sound like Elvis. Well, Elvis sounded like Elvis and he made it which is the logic of which is completely unassailable. It's rather like that thing in, you know, in Bad News, uh, Jimmy Henry, I could play Stairway to Heaven when I was 12, but Jimmy Page didn't write it until he was 36. And I think that says a lot. But what happens is there's this singer who wanted to be taken seriously, wanted, wanted to be famous, desperately wanted to be famous, wanted to be a, you know, somebody who was known. And finally, a Faustian pact comes along, which says, you know, you can have fame, but the price is anonymity. You can only be famous if no one knows who you are. And actually the film ends up being a very sympathetic and oddly moving account of somebody who develops almost a kind of tragic stature during the story. So on the one hand, you have all the sort of weird, you know, is Elvis alive stuff and that being unpicked and that story in itself is interesting enough. But on the other hand, you have a very, very sympathetic hearing of a, of a singer who you wouldn't have heard of and this, the sort of tragedy of their desire to be famous. Movie of the week.